have been a lot of young adult books that retell classic stories in the last few years. Here is one that isn't a fairy tale retelling. Instead, this reworks Truman Capote's famous book, In Cold Blood. Capote's classic essentially started the true crime genre and tells the story of how the Clutter family was brutally murdered in their farmhouse in Kansas in the 1950s. Author Amy Brashear took the real-life character from Capote's nonfiction book and told the story from high schooler Carly Fleming's point of view. Carly's father is an attorney who has just moved to town, and Carly is still an outsider in the small town high school. She had made friends with both Nancy Clutter and Nancy boyfriend's Bobby Ruff. When Nancy and her family are murdered, Bobby becomes a suspect since he was the last person to see the family alive. When Carly's dad represents the accused murderers, she feels completely cut off from any friendships at school and is ostracized in town. But she's determined to help solve the case in her friend's memory. But she seems to do more harm than good, constantly meddling in the police investigation. Even though this book is set in western Kansas, there are several events that take place in Kansas City, in the local area here where our students might recognize some of the places, and several celebrities make brief and somewhat surprising for such a small town appearances in the novel, including John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Truman Capote, and his childhood friend Harper Lee, who you recognize as the author of To Kill a Mockingbird. No Saints in Kansas introduces a nearly 60-year-old crime to modern high school students. I recommend if you read this, read it alongside Capote's classic In Cold Blood. This retelling is called No Saints in Kansas by Amy Brashear.